I know this video is going to be long, but it's going to be worth it because we're talking about lots and lots of favorite goodies. Hello everyone. For today, I wanted to come very fresh faced, bare faced and all. And let's get ready together. I'm going to be sharing my monthly favorites with you. It has been a while since I have done one of these, so I figured let's do it in a get ready with me kind of style. So welcome to the bare face. <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. I always start my days with celery juice. And I'm so happy that I have put on so many of you to this I mean, it's not anything new, but it's just so great to share something so simple like this with you guys. So I, this is a favorite, a forever favorite. You guys know I'm a firm believer that what you put in shines out. And celery juice is just that prime example. Clear skin, okay, all day, every day. Good gut health and all the other amazing benefits that come with it. So that's a forever, forever, forever favorite. So as you guys can see, I am completely barefaced and I mean down to the eyebrows, which you know how I feel about that. I did just wash my face and my current one of my current favorite cleansers is the Ishantakai. This is the Rice and Geranium Foam Cleanser. A very gentle cleanser. With this cleanser, you want to use the tiniest amount of it, like you truly, truly do. It's not like those other products that say, only use a little bit. No, no, no. This stuff, you really only need to use a little bit. And it does a great job at just cleansing the skin, giving it a very slight exfoliant. The rice in there gives a light exfoliant to the skin. Nothing harsh at all. You barely even feel it. Even your skin feeling really clean without overly stripped or dry. And I really like it. So I did just wash my face with that. And here we are nice and clean. This is the product that took two years to formulate and she collaborated with Angela Bassett to focus in on what darker skin tones need. And I think that that's great because our skin needs are different than those with less pigmentation in their skin. We suffer from a lot of hyperpigmentation and other issues. It's really awesome that a high-end brand that's really good with ingredients and technology has a line dedicated to us. I've really enjoyed this cleanser. It's a very gentle exfoliating cleanser. It's like a powder. You add just a little bit of water and you exfoliate your skin. And again, it's very, very gentle, very effective, and it has the enzymes in it. It does a great job, and that's something I truly enjoy and I'm always reaching for, so it's definitely a favorite. Another product I'm always on and on and on about, but it's with good reason. It's the Tata Harper. This is the Clarifying Cleanser. This is more so for blemish-prone, oil-prone skin. This is a product that I use whenever I feel a breakout coming because it does such a great job at shortening its lifespan. This is a dry cleanser, whereas you put it on dry skin with dry hands. You know, you massage it in your skin and then you rinse. And let me tell you, it, it clears up blemishes so effectively. This brand is awesome. It's a family owned business. Everything is made here in America on their little farm in Vermont. I use quite a few products from Tata Harper and it's an awesome line. If you guys are interested in something that is very natural and is effective, good quality ingredient products, definitely check out Tata Harper. I've been using and raving about them for years. So again, all I've done is wash my face with the Shantikai cleanser. What I do next is I go in with my Dr. Barbara Sturm balancing toner. Now, what's the purpose of a toner? Truly, it's to balance back your pH. This is a very gentle, nourishing, pH balancing toner. It's great for sensitive skin. It's great for irritated skin. So it's gonna balance your pH and it's going to clean anything that you may have missed with your cleanser. You can apply this with your hands or you can go in with a little cotton and just sweep it all over the face. Thankfully, my skin is quite clean, so my cotton isn't too dirty because that would have been embarrassing. I have really been enjoying all of the Dr. Barbara Storm products that I've tried. They're very gentle, effective, and it's products that make your skin feel really good. And I do like the simplicity of the packaging. So with the toner, it has a locking mechanism where you turn 
the lock and unlock. So I like that. So we're nice and toned. I personally like to go in with my serum next and do that immediately while my skin is still a little bit wet because that helps with the absorption. My daytime serum is the Chantecaille Blue Light Protection Hyaluronic Serum. I go in with about a pump and a half on my fingertips, keeping it focused there, and then I'll start to apply it. It's got a gel texture, so it's a very light, weight and, and with the hyaluronic acid you know you're locking in all of that moisture this serum is packed with the hyaluronic acid so that's going to help with moisture and also blue light protection especially nowadays we're all in front of a monitor we're all having some sort of screen time so it's nice to have a little something for that i'll then go in with my sicily moisturizer this is an oil-free moisturizer it is targeted towards combination skin and oily skin types now yes it is a mattifying product but it's not overly mattifying you're still getting moisture one thing you never want to do is not give your skin moisture no matter what your skin type is me being combination skin does not stop me from making sure my more so oily areas are nicely hydrated and this product is very lightweight gives moisture without it drying the skin out because it's mattifying it just gives you that less dewy greasy kind of look when th with some moisturizers like my nighttime moisturizer forget it i look shiny and that's fine time and place for everything but this particular product for the daytime it's so perfect <laughs> eye cream now eye cream is something that you don't always have to use you can totally use your moisturizer and just bring it up on the under eye area personally i find whenever i use eye cream that my concealers perform better my makeup wears better I've got a lot of fine lines and puffiness and things like that. So I like to treat my under eye with lots of extra pampering and care. And I have been loving and using the Sicily, the Black Rose Eye Contour Fluid. This is the one that has the sensory tool on the top. So what you do is you just pump a little. And I like that you still have good control. It's not going to just pump and a whole bunch is going to come out. You have You can control it so you can dispense, you know, based on your discretion. So I go ahead and I will pat the product first. And then the sensory tool is just massaging the product in. It helps with puffiness. It helps with hydration. There is no miracle product that's going to make your lines disappear. It'll probably help with it looking smoother and less noticeable, but, you know, I haven't found that magic magic product yet that's going to make all my flaws disappear but I'm working on it <laughs> and I personally don't like to get too close to my under eye just in case because we don't want this stuff going in our eye and as it absorbs it kind of just spreads a little tiny bit so I don't need to get too too close so this is very soothing and relaxing that whole sensory aspect and then I make sure to clean this off as soon as I'm done with it and then what I'll do is just take my finger and just pat whatever's left and I do apply it to my lid as well we love happy skin right let's show these lips some love this is my Lemire lip volumizer I for the daytime, this is perfect for me because it's also lip prep before makeup. It does have a little plump to it. Nothing crazy in all honesty. I have not noticed anything too crazy with it. But I find it to be very moisturizing. You know, it's got the Le Mer Miracle Broth, which truly is just a lot of moisture. I'll take all the moisture I can get on my lips. Thank you very much. It has a little tingle to it. Nothing crazy. And it kind of smooths out my lines too, so love this stuff. Last and final step, and no matter if I'm going anywhere or not, I'm still going to apply sunscreen. This one is from Crave Beauty. This is the Beat Shield Antioxidant Day Fluid. This is a gentle antioxidant-rich day fluid 
that protects your skin from harsh environmental stressors. The non-white casting formula charged with beetroot extract and antioxidants to fight against free radicals. So you don't have to turn beet red. I had to read that to you because it's literally the cutest thing. Give that a good shake. I've been using this for quite a while now and I really like how it feels on the skin and how it wears. And even though I'm combo, I haven't had any issues with it like making me look oily and it does not give me a cast either. Do not be shy with your sunscreen. I know I did a skincare video. I did a skin prep video and in that video I didn't show that I used a lot of sunscreen and boy, did I hear it. So we're using a ton of sunscreen because we need to. Forget my neck. And a lot of people neglect the back of their neck and you know, kind of like when you shower, you wash between your ears, you wash between your toes. When you're applying your product, you gotta apply it everywhere. <laughs> Definitely make sure that you apply sunscreen to your neck and your chest area and your hands. In 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, you will be thanking me. <laughs> so what I'll do now is I'll let my sunscreen sit for a few minutes and in that time I'll you know, finish drinking my celery juice and I'll catch up on some other things rather quickly and then I will start my makeup. So while this is kind of just sitting for a few minutes, let me quickly share these products with you. This is the Chantecaille Rose de Mai Cleansing Balm. Oh, this is currently what I have left. This has to be the most gentle cleansing balm I've ever used. It removes your makeup with ease. It removes sunscreen. This is something I use daily, even when I don't wear makeup, because I do want to make sure that I get all of the day off, all of the sunscreen and the elements, whatever the case may be. I have found that ever since I started using it, that once I remove it, because I remove it with a warm muslin cloth. I use the Yves Lam muslin cloths. And if you haven't seen my video on how I use it and stuff, I will link it so that you can check it out. But I noticed my skin, it feels very nourished. It doesn't feel dry and like you literally just strip the life out of it. Uh, makeup removers typically, you know, you're left with that stripped away feeling but this has been great it's it's really really good i had to order backups i ordered like two backups because i cannot live without this thing now it has to be one of the best cleansing uh bombs i've ever used for removing my makeup before i started using the chantecaille rose de my cleansing balm i was a cleansing oil person because i like that light moisturized kind of feeling. And I'm not gonna compare the two because they're totally different, but it was an easy transition for me. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> a body care item is from the brand Beekman. This is the Pure Goat Milk Body Serum. This is a product that it feels like a dry oiled almost. And it's something that you would apply to your skin right after you get out the shower and you're like, you're not dry, your skin is not completely dry. You're still a little bit damp. It's so light and nourishing and it leaves my skin feeling so good. It's not overly hydrated. It's not greasy. It's actually really, really comfortable. And I've really been enjoying it. And then another product from Beekman is their cuticle serum. What I love about this is it has a locking mechanism and it has like a little sponge tip to apply the product. And it is really good on these cuticles because the amount of times I wash my hand in a day is literally, I lose count. And that's good. We want that. But, you know, we also want to make sure our hands are taken care of. Do you know? Finished up the old celery juice and I did my eyebrows. And I think that was an adequate amount of time to just let everything kind of sit and sink into the skin. I've really been using the Chantecaille. This is the... The Full Brow Perfecting Gel. So this brow gel has peptides in it very much like the mascara that helps the hairs grow. And I've been using this consistently and I, I have noticed my brows are growing. And you know, I know it's gonna be a it's going to be a process, but I'm sticking to it because I'm already seeing little hairs sprout where they weren't before, and I'm like, oh, okay. Let's put something on this face, shall we? 
Same old, same old when it comes to my favorite primer, the Sisley Double Tinsure. This has got skincare in it. It helps your makeup look amazing last because it's got that tackiness to it. And I just, I, I can't. This has got to be one of the best primers. And I recently started trying a new primer too from Tom Ford. And as much as I like that one already, there's just... This is forever going to have my heart. So I'm sorry if you were expecting me to have like another favorite primer, but I don't. So I go in with about a pump on my fingertips. The reason I use my fingertips to apply my product is because mm, the palms of your hand absorbs. And I want all of my product all over. <laughs> so just going to let that sit for a moment. Something that I have been doing quite often is I've been color correcting because... I have darkness, let me see if you can see it. I have darkness here and a little around my mouth. I like to just color correct very lightly and I'm not one to color correct like an Instagram girl. <laughs> That's just not realistic for me. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Vanish, I believe that this is called. Yeah, I have it in the shade number three. It's the orange. She's got a nice little dent in her, but it's literally just like a mini version of her powder. <laughs> Comes with a mirror. I just take this Chanel brush and I focus it where I need it only and then I blend it in completely. You don't ever want a product like this to look th like this. You want to blend it in because that's what's going to help correct and hide any darkness that you may have. This is very thin in consistency. It blends very nicely. And once I put my foundation over it, all this darkness is gone. Now for my foundation today, I'm gonna to be using my Westman Atelier. And don't you just love the little pouches that they come in? So this is what the packaging looks like. It's a stick foundation. A few Westman Atelier videos if you're interested in the line itself. I just apply this foundation with my hands. I feel that I get more controlled coverage that way and it melts and blends into the skin so nicely and easily. This has really been my everyday kind of go-to because it's easy. <laughs> you know, I still love, love my shade and illuminate and this is a favorite and I was gonna mention it, but now I'll mention it. This is a favorite, it's awesome, it's amazing. You guys know that, but this Westman Atelier, it's so nourishing on the skin and it's it's easy makeup. It's very grab and go. You just want to enhance yourself. Just want to kind of pull yourself together. No fuss, nothing. It's so good. Now with this foundation, you can apply it with a brush, with a sponge. But for my realistic days, these days, I do just use my hands. And you know, honestly, you don't even have to put it everywhere. You just put it where you need it, you know? Like you can take it and swipe it on your face, but it's not my favorite way of using it. Cause even when I do that, it blends so nicely, but I just have this thing in my head where don't tug on your skin, Monique, don't do it. This foundation just looks like skin, just good, healthy, natural skin. And I honestly, unlike my everyday, I don't put a lot of foundation on my forehead. I just kind of put whatever's left. Then what I'll do is I'll go in with a darker shade, which is shade number 11, number 11, and I'll use this as contour. Very soft, very soft contour. And that too, just blend it with your fingers. Like, are you kidding me? Your makeup is done in like five minutes. Like seriously, just put on concealer. You can put powder if you like. That's another thing. With this foundation, you can set it or you, you just leave it. It still wears and looks really nice. But this is how the skin is looking. It still looks very hydrated and fresh and skin-like, but you know, we kind of put away the little imperfections. <laughs> Now for my concealers, again, on the everyday, I like something that I can just blend with my finger, gives me good coverage because 
If I don't do anything else, I'm going to wear some concealer. <laughs> so I reach for most the Chantecaille Le Camouflage Silo. This is a skincare makeup hybrid. And this one in particular, <laughs> I am completely finished with I'm completely finished with it, but that's okay. Because my other favorite, with good reason, and I hope that I have that video up already, or it'll be after, but anywho, I'll link it if it is available. My Sicily concealer. This concealer's got caffeine in it and skincare benefits to it. It's got the sensory applicator, this cooling tip applicator where you apply. Oh my goodness. So good. So for the Sicily, I actually have two shades. I have one that is very brightening, and then I have one that's more like a color corrector. So I mix the two. So I have shades four and five. So I will take shade four and apply shade four to the inner part of the eye. And as you can see, it's very brightening. Okay. And then I'll take shade five, which more is like a corrector for me and apply that. Now this concealer has caffeine in it, so it really helps with the puffiness. It really helps my eyes look hydrated and awake. And it really has nice coverage too. And I have to say, I have worn it and I've set it and I have not set it with powder and it has still looked so good either way. And I really like mixing the two because I get the brightness and the color correction. Look at that happy, un look at that healthy under eye. Are you kidding me? Do you see that? I'm starting to look like Mo. I'm starting to look all fresh and put together. Who was that person here before? I don't know. <laughs> now I'm really starting to feel my like myself is what I'm saying. You know? If I don't do anything else, I am wearing concealer. Concealer is that one product that I purchase the most of. I mean, just a handful right here. Sicily, La Prairie, Ilia, and then I've got a whole slew of more back there. But I'm reaching for most the Sicily and the Chantecaille. Do you see how hydrated and fresh and just awake the under eye looks? So let me show you. So that's the, so here is what my skin looks like. It's very skin-like, very natural, very light. This is realistic for my life on the daily. So that's why it's my favorites. For powders, I have really been enjoying my Sicily Loose Powder and my By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. The By Terry is very hydrating and light and it sets your makeup in place. And I also find that the Sicily, it's very light and it's hydrating and it does not like dry you out and leave you cakey or anything like that. They're both really, really good. I can't even say one is better than the other because they're both really good. If anything, maybe the By Terry is a little more fine in texture and I like the packaging more, but this one, this is so good. Okay, so what we'll do today is I'll set my under eye with the Sicily and then I'll set the rest of my face with the By Terry. And for both the powders, I don't have a scent, which is a nice treat because I feel like a lot of these luxury brands love to put fragrance in everything. But look at the under eye that I just set. So good, so good. And for the By Terry, Put a little in the cap. This is my BK Beauty 104 brush, which is a favorite, of course. And I have to say, both the powders work well together. This is what the skin looks like all set. And the By Terry, it's just so light and feels like nothing. I just like to dust it very little all over the face. So because you asked for it, I am going to be doing an updated bronzer collection video. So make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out. But my favorite bronzers, the ones I've been reaching for most, are the Sicily bronzer, the Chantecaille bronzer, and the Burberry. 
this is more so like a brontour because it's more of a contouring kind of palette. It's got the blush, the highlight, good old faithful Sicily. I know it's not beautiful anymore, but that's with good reason because we use the heck out of it. And then I have both the Chantecai bronzers. This is Serena and this is Goa. One's lighter, one's darker. Undertones are different. I personally like Serena more for the daily and I like uh, Goa when I really want to contour and more so get snatched. In the Burberry palette, I know the bronzing, I know the sculpting shades are like, whoa, scary, but I will tell you, they blend so nicely and easily. You don't have to be afraid. Don't be afraid, my darlings. I'm going to go in with my Sisley. You know, she's got a very special place in my heart. And I'm just going to a bronze up just a little. I am wanting a lighter kind of look today. And the Sisley builds up so you can go in light and just be done or you can build it up and it builds up really nice. And the Sisley does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's very soft and natural. Very soft and natural. So we're, I think we're coming along quite nicely. You know, I'm starting to feel like myself again and look like myself again. <laughs> if you've made it this far in the video, don't forget to hit that like button, guys. It helps me so much. You know, really quick, I wanted to show you what the sculpting shade looks like in the Burberry palette. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use a brush that's really soft because I don't want a lot. Because, you know, the Sisley, I like it for daily. Because as you can see, it's a very soft kind of bronzer and it really just puts a little color back on the skin with a little bit of you know just a little something on the skin and I like that for the daily but I want to show this to you and I'm just going to go very lightly and show you just kind of warm up the skin a little bit but this is for the days when you really want to be snatched you know what I mean do you see that for highlight, you guys, you guys, I have two cheeks, so I'm going to show you both because there's two of them. No surprise, the West Men Atelier Lit Up Highlight Stick in Lit. Oh my goodness. I will be repurchasing this. This happens to be one of the best highlighters ever. I mean, ever. This is a 2020 forever favorite. Like, this is so good. And what I really love about it is this works over powder, under powder, throughout the day. It is so beautiful on the skin. I personally love to apply it with my sponge. The sponge is so big, but it works. <laughs> yes. Yes. So beautiful. And I will tell you, it wears like this throughout the day. It does not dry down in a sense. It stays like this glassy kind of product. It's not greasy or anything like that. It stays glossy on the skin, but it doesn't move around or get sticky. It's it's really a beautiful formula. <laughs> now, without further ado, may I introduce to you my other favorite highlighter of the month, Pat McGrath. Yes! This is uh, the Skin Fetish Sublime skin highlighter in champagne gold now first of all this packaging it is so heavy like if you chuck this at someone you're gonna hurt them like it's like that and a shout out to Steffi glam for telling me listen monique don't play with me go buy the damn highlighter you need it because i wasn't gonna get it and she's like what are you crazy <laughs> but this is what it looks like isn't it beautiful the packaging that packaging Ooh. let me just show this to you on the skin what swatch? You don't need a swatch, okay? You just want to see this baby on the skin. What? And that's me being light-handed. She is something special. It's a little bit of a pinky champagne kind of tint. I like it. So here's the Westman Atelier. This is like when you really like this is my everyday highlight, though, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> and then this is the Pat McGrath. It's so pretty. And I have to say, 
The Burberry highlighters are so beautiful as well. I'm not talking about this too, too much because it sells out, then it comes back, and I don't want to, like, give you FOMO, but it's so good. So if you see it and you can get it, get it. I'm just saying. Now, for blush, I also have a few, and I'll just use what I can to pull the look together. But I have to say, for blush... These Wayne Goss blushes, wow. He did an amazing job on these. This is Vivid Azalea. Now I do have dedicated videos on these, so if you want to really see them in action, I'll link that for you. And then this is Bright Poppy. Oh my goodness. The pigmentation is there, the pans are huge. They wear beautifully, they blend into the skin like, like wow. I mean, it's a win all around, like all around. I also really like the Patrick Ta blush. I think this is probably, other than the fan, <laughs> this is probably my only other Patrick Ta product. Nothing personal, nothing personal, just, you know, it's just my only other product. But this is his blush that comes with the cream and the powder, and this is the shade She's That Girl. So I'm gonna apply this one, and I'm just going to use the powder portion. Going in with another favorite, the Wayne Goss number 14. She's not new around here. <laughs> we love her. Apply the blush last. It literally allows you to just blend everyone together on the skin. Now the other blush that I really, really, really enjoy so much, and it just, just goes with me on the daily. It's the <laughs> Wiseman Atelier. This one is the Baby Cheeks in the shade Dodo. So this is also something that I like to apply with my sponge. So I'll just take my sponge. I definitely want to pick up Popette. And I hope she comes out with more blushes because I want them all, but... <sighs> you see the difference between the two? I feel like this one is more like a skin-like blush. And the great thing about this is that you can definitely build it up, of course. But I don't know. There's just something about the cream blush from Westman Atelier that just melts and blends into the skin so nicely. The Patrick Ta is really beautiful as well, but we're talking about totally different products. So it's not fair to compare them like that. But here's the Westman Atelier. It's more natural. And then the Patrick Ta. So beautiful. Now, <laughs> the next category, you know, we're going to have to talk a little bit and then we'll get to putting something on these eyes, but eyeshadows. <laughs> I do kind of stick to the same looks most days, but no, I need to tell you about these, these real quick, okay? I have to. Starting off with this Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Face and Eye Palette. This one is Rose Cashmere. This is the lightest of intensities. I reach for this for the daily because it's an all over palette. I go into this pinky shade as blush, little something on the eyes, gone. All of these, they're very light, but I like that for the daily. Like today, I would definitely take one of these and just put a little wash of color over the eyes. This highlight is beautiful. Don't let it fool you with that crazy looking gold. It melts and blends into the skin so nicely. And like I said, the pink one is a nice blush. And look at that pink. You see? It's so pretty. These are the wet dry formula in a freaking face and eye palette. Hello. Yes, please. And thank you. That contour is definitely intended for lighter skin tones. But to be fair, the other three, because they released a total of four of them, are more suited and work well with medium to dark skin tones. So it's okay. We're not mad at the fact that he has a light one. It's not anything like that, but I'm just saying. <laughs> it really doesn't bother me that this contour shade is kind of light because I have other products that I can use. So I more so focus as like a cheek and eye palette, if that makes sense. Other palette that I've really been loving so much is the Mercurial. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you caught it, but I did my first official live here on my channel talking about the Mercurial and comparing it and doing swatches. We had a little swatch party. We had a good time. And I, I, I'm getting into doing lives and I'm having a great time with it here on my channel. So I'm, I'm going to always, have, this, this palette's always going to have a special place in my heart just because of that. For the top two shades, I really like that I can just 
do like a little wash and be done. But then what I really, really like is that I can take these and do smoky, beautiful, sultry looks. This is such a beautiful palette. It's that wet dry formula. If you can get this, get it. I know there were some people that were saying it's like nude dip on top, honeymoon on the bottom. I beg to differ, but I'm just going to leave that there. The other eyeshadows that I love so, 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 so much are the Westman Atelier iPods. And I have both the day and the night. So this one is in Les, Les Nuits. This one. And you guys, are you kidding me? It's so cute. These are so fun. Again, I have dedicated videos on these, so I will spare you. But, you know, I use these a lot. It's like a putty kind of texture and I love that I can just take my finger and just blend it and go. So beautiful. So this is Le Nuit, which is the nighttime, and then the Le Jeux, which is the more daytime, very soft iPod palette thing. So you get that really light white frosty shade. You have this brown bronzy shade that I use quite a bit there's a major dent in that one I would probably have to buy this one again for sure before the other one because I think I use this one just a little bit more look at that one oh so beautiful but I have to say for this favorite the one that we're going to be using today I have really been loving just doing a quick soft smoky eye I'm having a moment I don't know I and I, and I never do this <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury luxury palette of mattes Desert Haze. Oh my gosh. Such a boring color story. No, it's not. It's so good. I use all four of the shades to do the quickest little look. So I'm going to use the BK Beauty 201. Just fluff this. I have to say these mattes are super creamy. They blend so easily. Very fuss free. Same brush going into that other brown shade. And this one I'm going to put all over my lid. We're literally almost done. It's a mess. It's a fuss free kind of day. Fuss free kind of look. And then of course, you know, you blend a little. The BK Beauty 202, this one's a little more tapered. I'll go into the darkest brown. This is, that. like I said, this is gonna be the quickest look. But like it's, 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 it's a no big deal kind of look. Put that on the outer eye. And just take my time and perfect it. Cause you know, I'm kind of like just rushing it. Just. And that's the thing with these shadows, they blend so easily. The super light shade, we'll do a quick little brow bone highlight, nothing crazy. And then I like to put a little on the inner portion of my eye. Easiest, easiest smoky eye ever, like ever. I'm not sitting here blending forever with a brown. And I mean, of course I can get super precise, but I really wanted to show you, this is kind of like what I do. Like, realistically, that's what I do. I just go in, and I'm just like, whatever. Quick smoky eye. Take the 207 from BK Beauty, and I like to go into the lightest brown and bring that on the lower lash line and just smudge a little bit. You can't tell me I didn't spend 20 minutes doing my eye look, but I didn't. <laughs> this is a newer to me product, but you just know when something's good. It's the Tom Ford Emotion Proof Eyeliner. This one is in the shade Chocolat. It's a really pretty dark brown. You see how creamy that is? So I'm put that in the waterline. So far, this is the only one that I've tried, but I would definitely buy more. It has good staying power. It's nice and creamy. And I think the color selection is quite realistic as well, you know? My Gucci mascara and my Chantecaille mascara. Still love my Gucci mascara. She separates, she lifts. I love the wand. It's so great for the lower lash line. But I also really enjoy the Chantecaille. This one has the peptide, so it gives that length and separation and holds and none of these flake, none of these smudge. They perform beautifully. And I have noticed my lashes are doing so good since I've been using the Chantecaille. So let's go ahead and put a couple of coats. And I'll tell you, with the Chantecaille, you kind of just feel like you could keep going and going. Oh my God. It wouldn't be a mo video if I didn't do that. 
uh, but what I was saying was with this mascara, you want to just keep applying and applying it. It really looks so pretty on the lashes. Just leave that little mishap to dry and then we'll flake it off. And for the other eye, I'll show you the Gucci. So the Gucci and the Shantake. I'm not going to wear false lashes today just because I really like the mascara and just this whole vibe that we've got going on. You have to mention our very own Sean K Beauty started her lash line, Chandelier Lashes. And you guys, I have been using and wearing them in almost every video. And a big congratulations to her because her lashes are awesome. Super luxe, luxury mink lashes. I mean, hello. I have the Styles Lumiere. That one. I put the L so that I know which eye is which. <laughs> Don't mind me. And then the style Lady Sarah. But she has a great selection on her site, and you guys have to check them out. Everything will be listed down below for you, so no worries. Okay, so for the lip products, like I know this is the time that we're all wearing masks and face coverings, but I still need to have lipstick. I still need to have something on my lips for when I take that face covering off, you know? But I have been using this little sweet combo right here from Tom Ford. What I'll do is I'll go in with the lip blush, which is the one that's like a clear and it just, once it warms up to your body heat, it changes color. And I did use this in a couple of videos so that you guys can see it, but it comes and it gives the most pretty pink. Do you see that? Mm. It's so easy to wear. And then I go over top of it with the Balm Frost. This came out with the Winter Collection, but it's pretty much like it says. It's a balm and it has little glitters in it. So I just pile it on top. And it's a very easy wearing kind of combo. Very effortless. This is probably my most used nude lipstick at the moment, other than my Christian Louboutin, Just Nothing, is the Gucci Penny Beige. And this one is in the, I think, the matte formula. This is definitely my go-to nude. Blah. Woe is me. And my other favorite lipstick is the new Byredo lipsticks. These are really good. And the packaging is so cool. I was fortunate enough to work with some amazing ladies in a collaboration on this launch. Lipstick, color sticks, and mascara. <laughs> so... Definitely check that video out if you want to see more in detail about each product. But this is the shade Reunion. So that is the shade Reunion from Byredo. And this formula, it's a matte, but it's very creamy. And it doesn't look drying on the lips. And I love the packaging. Super luxe. Definitely would get more of these. And here we are. We did a full face using all of my current beauty favorites. I'd love to hear what some of your favorites are comment them down below. I appreciate you all so much. You're always my favorite, but you know that, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.